everybody, it's Emma. And Blair. <laughs> Apparently. <laughs> <laughs> it's Emma. And Emma! <laughs> Today we are going to be doing a book review slash book stuff thing. So let's get right into it. I got one, two, three, four, five, six books, one of them being an audiobook from the library. Okay. Anyways, my book is called Ellen DeGeneres. Seriously, I'm kidding. This is probably like the best book I've ever read. She's really funny. And um there are 57 chapters, and there are three parts. Very long book. I read it in one day. Um, it's very funny. There's chapters that don't make sense at all. There is a chapter called um, The Key to Happiness, and it's literally one word. It just says kale. Overdrive is an app that you connect to your local library. Basically, you can find audiobooks and like The Fault in Our Stars, for example. I haven't read it yet, nor have I seen the movie, and I wanted to jump on the train. Saw the movie. Jump on the train. You did? Thought with Courtney. You went and had cherry berry. That's exciting. Was it good? Yeah, it's very good. Book or movie? Uh, the book is really, really close to the movie. They did a really good job, but the movie was really good. I don't know. So, if I wanted to read that, it is an audiobook, but it's unavailable. So basically, even though it's an audio file, you have to wait till the person is done with it. So I'm like 99 in line of 250 people. So explain those first two books you were talking about, because I read the description of them and it sounded really good. The first book was called Forgive Me, Leonard Peacock. Okay, so that book was very hard for me to understand. It's Leonard Peacock talking and it's his birthday the whole entire throughout the book except for like the very end where it's not his birthday. I think he's turning 18 and basically he is going to give a present to the four people that have helped him through his high school career because he's just been miserable and depressed and his mom's not a very good mom and um, he's only got like one teacher in the school that he likes. It's currently storming yeah. so that's why it's not for the next. Uh, and so it's basically him for the whole entire thing and basically the plot of it is he is going to give the presents to his four friends and then he's going to go kill his ex-best friend um, with a, with his grandfather's old war World War II gun, I think it is. And so it's all leading up to that point and then you can read it and yeah, that's the end of that book. So we got Just Listen and Lock and Key and there's another book. Oh, it was called Something Like You or something like that. Oh, let me see if it's in here. Someone Like You, I was right! She has a lot of books. Yeah, there's more too because this one's old. It's about this these two best friends and they've been friends since they were five I think or whenever they the one girl moved next door they became best friends the night that she moved next door to this one chick and um, basically they grew up that way and one of the girls always asked the other girl for help for like questions she was always relying on her for questions and stuff like that and um, the one that was always getting asked the questions had a boyfriend and her boyfriend died he's not in the story at all he just liked to have getting in a motorcycle crash so now, um, the, her, the chick with the boyfriend's relying on her for all the answers and she's got to figure out how to answer them because then she's been asking her the questions the whole entire day. So now Blair's books. I've been reading the Twilight series for about a um, year and three months and I'm almost done with it. I got that much left and I mean, I was way behind the Twilight train. I'm always behind the trains of really good books and movies. The movie, yeah. The movies are really good, but the books are better. No offense movie makers, but the books are phenomenal. So I'm really excited to finish this. And what's interesting is that it's in three parts. And the first one's um, Bella, second one's Jacob, and then the third one's Bella again. Um, then I have my audiobook, which is called The School for Good and Evil. And it's gonna talk now. I'm afraid. Okay. So it has 30 chapters and it's by Saman Chinani. It is so amazing. It's basically about these two girls, Sophie and Agatha. I actually named my truck Agatha after her. And um, they live in this town called Gavelton. And what happens is they, this town, they're called the readers and they read these stories like Cinderella and, you know, happily ever after stories. 
and every year two kids are taken and nobody ever knows where they go but they're taken by the storyteller or I can't remember his name but anyways Sophie's all princess and she's totally ready she's like I did my five good deeds today I'm so ready to be taken and then Agatha is really scared for her and she wants to save her, but in the way of, or while saving her, they both get taken to the school for good and evil. And it's so amazing! And it's like so intense, and there's true love, and there's killing, and there's um, classes, and it's, you know, the more I read it, I realize how much it relates to real life. <laughs> like, craziness, but. It's really, really good. Let's see what happens at the end when the ball comes. When the ball comes, who will Tedros ask to the ball? Will it be Eva? Will it be the... Oh, is Agatha a witch? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> I'm so good. Zoom is sprinkling my swag on you. <laughs> I want to read Steve Jobs, A Walk to Remember, Breaking Dawn. I'm in the middle of that. Perks of Being a Wallflower, Fault in Our Stars, Looking for Alaska, Wicked, The Great Gatsby, Will Grayson, Will Grayson, Grace, A Memoir, we Were Liars of Poseidon, the trilogy. Hannah Hart's book. Grace Helbig's book. I want to watch the Shane Dawson movie. Oh, An Abundance of Catherines. That one's by John Green. I started reading it and then I stopped. Because I found... Or because... No, because Abby gave me The Fall in Our Stars and then I started reading that instead. I can't focus it and I just want to focus it on my chocolate. I found it. I found it. Okay, while well, you're zooming... With chocolatey hands on my thousand dollar camera. Oh, I didn't touch it with this hand. Fine. I'll go back a page. It was a strange feeling. This is what she just changed. Not surprising. I suppose since everything felt strange now, just being a natural at it, something. As a human, I'd never been best at anything. I was okay at dealing with Renee, but probably lots of people could have done better. Phil seemed to be holding his own. I was a good student, but never stopped, never the top of the class. Obviously, I could be counted out of anything athletic. Not artistic or musical, no particular talents to brag of. Nobody ever gave away a trophy for reading books. After 18 years of mediocrity, I was pretty used to being average. I realize now that I had long ago given up any aspirations of shining at anything. I just did the best with what I had, never quite fitting in my world. So this was really different. I was amazing now. To them and to myself, it was like I had been born to be a vampire. The idea made me want to laugh, but it, it also made me want to sing. I had found my true place in the world, the place I fit, the place I shine. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this very random video about books. If you want us to do more book reviews, then please comment and subscribe and like. That order was spectacular. It's raining right now, so if it's raining while you're watching this video, please like, comment, and subscribe. And we will see you guys later. Thank you so much for watching.